Well, every new year, people say, thank God that year's over. <laughs> like this year will be any different. <laughs> By December, you're waiting for next year to be better. Again. And we always have the same problems and more new ones. And lots of them involve waiting. The first problem this new year is waiting for oil-rich Islamic nations to pony up more tsunami money. Everyone's knocking Canada's 80 million, but only 10 million from Kuwait? That's not even the toilet paper budget at the Emir's palace. <laughs> and, uh, huh. In BC, Premier Gordon Campbell's new laws allow child labor for kids as young as 12. Yeah, they hire kids because of the narrow rows in the marijuana grow ops. <laughs> and, and to make people wait six years longer for pensions that won't be there. And we waited nearly two years for America to lift their beef ban against us, like they don't have any crazy bovines down there. <laughs> U.S. insiders say reversing the ban is still on, because with Bush, even if he changes position, doesn't make him wrong before. <laughs> and Cuba, Cuba and China have recently discovered new oil supplies. And they'll get ready for the drilling to begin by inexplicably losing their weapons of mass destruction and digging spider holes. <laughs> And after removing Canadian flags from provincial government offices, Newfoundland Premier Danny Williams didn't have to wait long for a backlash. A lawsuit charging blatant plagiarism and stealing their thunder was filed by the Bloc Québécois. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, complaints were heard from every region of Canada, except from BC children who were busy working a double shift. <laughs> Danny's fight with Paul Martin also compelled a Newfoundland swimwear designer to stop selling her line of Canadian flag swimsuits. Now, she's also received complaints, but mostly for putting swimsuits and Danny Williams in the same thought. <laughs> Come on, Danny. The rest of Canada sympathizes with you getting screwed over by the Liberals, but that's what they do. That's what they do to all of us. That's what makes all of us Canadian. And that's definitely not the official story. <laughs>